Rascal is a game where... How do I put this delicately? The character controls like utter shit, and the camera is the worst thing you will ever experience in your life. The camera and the controls of this game make it unplayable. I mean, Bubsy 3D is a horrible game where the graphics just weren't finished. You could kind of control that game, and the camera kind of paid attention to your character, so you weren't always constantly dying because your character controlled like a maniac and the camera was all over the place. You were dying because the game was just broken. Here, the game has great graphics. For its time, it looks fantastic. The angles are all over the place. Every time you enter a room, the camera is in a different angle. It's constantly jerking all about. You cannot possibly ever see where the enemies are that you're fighting. And when you're fighting a boss who's just standing in the middle of the room, and you have to stop and shoot him and then move to another place before the boss hits you with a really powerful attack, the camera just stabs you in the back. I mean, it straight up betrays you. You literally might as well close your eyes and use the force. When fighting bosses in this game, it is that bad. But for how bad the camera is, the controls are even worse. Your character is impossible to control. And this is a platforming game, so you can imagine how unstable the platforming is. See, when you turn right after jumping, you don't just turn. For some reason, the controls glitch out and you continue to run. So if you even make the slightest move right after jumping, your character will run right off the platform. I noticed even when you don't move, the character just kind of jerks off the platforms anyway. So you can just imagine, I mean, you could see how frustrating this game is. Everything from platforming to fighting bosses to fighting regular enemies is almost an impossible task. Beating this game is harder than trying to kill a dragon with bubbles. Oh wait, that's what your main weapon is, a bubble gun. That's right, you have a little gun filled with bubbles and you shoot at various critters, knights, dragons, demons, aliens, what have you. But you know what, the bubble gun is kind of realistic because it can't do jack shit when it comes to actual damage. And the worst thing about it is there's actually a set amount of bubbles you can shoot. You see at the top right, there's the little liquid bubble gun. When that runs out, your gun starts hitting even weaker than normally. For how hard this game is, you think it would have unlimited continues, but it doesn't. You see at the bottom there, your hat with the little three there? Once that runs out, the game is over. And since you're basically gonna get killed by the regular enemies and probably won't make it to any bosses, this game is impossible. Forget the incredibly broken platforming. Forget about the insane camera. The fact that you try to fight knights and demons and aliens with a bubble gun already makes this game impossible. Oh, and the game is confusing beyond belief. I mean, seriously confusing. You start the game off and you don't know where to go. You run from room to room until you realize you're supposed to do the weirdest, most obscure thing imaginable to go to different levels in the game. Instead of every room in the house, being a portal to another level, like a good game, say, Mario 64, you go to this weird machine that you don't even know what it is. There's other machines around the house that don't do anything, and then this one just kind of takes you to the level. But the thing is, you're not sure how the machine works. Like, there's no platform for you to stand on, there's no door for you to enter, you just kind of stand under this random place in the machine, and you're teleported to a level somehow, I don't know. And why are all all the goddamn doors in this world three feet tall. I mean, I realize you're playing as a kid, but were these houses created for kids? I mean, this guy lives with his dad. There's adults in the house. 
Does his dad have to crawl around the house to get from one door to the next? Oh, and that's the plot of the game. Your dad is a scientist, and you have to save him by traveling through time and through different levels. And the character you play is Rascal. He is just such a stereotypical 90s kid. He's got the baggy clothing, the sideways hat, the sunglasses. He looks and dresses exactly like hip-hop producer Scott Storch. I mean, really, I don't know why they called him Rascal. They should have just called him what he looks and moves like douchebag. Oh sure, moving around the levels, finishing the levels, moving around your house to get to the levels is incredibly confusing, but luckily you have a map system. You can just go to the map and uh, here, the map. There's your skateboard, there's the soccer ball, there's the staircase. Thanks a lot game, this map is perfect. Now I know exactly where to go. Think of any possible thing that can go wrong with a game, and it goes horribly wrong with Rascal. This game is virtually unplayable, and that's why I am calling it the worst PlayStation game ever made. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.